Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object in space, faces challenges. Having journeyed for nearly 50 years, the spacecraft encounters significant difficulties in relaying data back to Earth. Abruptly, it begins transmitting a perplexing sequence of ones and zeros, baffling engineers and scientists who are now diligently working from a distance of 24 billion kilometers to troubleshoot and resolve the issue, ensuring the continuation of its historic mission which offers invaluable insights into space exploration. Welcome to Spaceverse, your gateway to the wonders of the cosmos. Delve into the mysteries of space exploration, from the far reaches of the universe to the inner workings of our own solar system. Join us as we uncover the latest updates on spacecraft missions like Voyager 1, journeying through the vast expanse of space, the anomaly surrounding the spacecraft's transmission of garbled data poses a puzzling question. Is it a mere glitch or a deeper malfunction? Equally pressing is the challenge posed by the age and distance of the craft, raising doubts about the feasibility of resolving the issue. Unraveling the mystery behind the irregular binary pattern emitted by the probe is essential to addressing these concerns. Much like the computers on Earth, the Voyager spacecraft relies on the binary system for communication. Using only zeros and ones, it communicates a vast array of information from simple numerical values to complex images and sounds. A Voyager 1 has three primary computers, two are implicated in the current predicament. The flight data system serves as the initial computer, tasked with collecting two distinct sets of data from the spacecraft. Scientific data gathered from instruments designed for celestial exploration and operational health data, which indicates the proper functioning of all components. Once collected in binary format, the FDS processes and consolidates this data into a cohesive package. This package is then transmitted to the second computer, housing the telemetry modulation unit within the computer command system. The telemetry modulation unit plays a pivotal role in the transmission process back to Earth. Tasked with relaying the package binary data, it first undergoes modulation onto a carrier signal, a crucial step in preparing the data for its journey through space. Once modulation is complete, the TMU transmits the waves containing the data, which are then received on Earth via the Deep Space Network, comprising a network of radio antennas spread across strategic locations like California, Spain, and Australia. The DSN enables continuous communication with various spacecraft as the Earth rotates. Upon arrival, the binary data undergoes further processing within specialized data centers. Here, it is meticulously analyzed and converted into human-readable formats, such as numerical values, graphs, or images. These transformed datasets serve as valuable resources for scientific analysis and research endeavors. For over four decades, Voyager 1 has relied on this tried and tested method to transmit vital information back to Earth. However, recent observations have uncovered an enigmatic anomaly within the spacecraft's communication system. Instead of the expected blend of scientific data and spacecraft health information, Reports indicate that the TMU is emitting a perplexing and repetitive sequence of ones and zeros, lacking any discernible coherence or pattern. This puzzling development raises pressing questions about the integrity of the spacecraft systems and the potential implications for its ongoing mission. NASA has chosen not to divulge the exact nature of the pattern being transmitted by the Voyager probe. However, in their initial assessment of the issue, NASA has pinpointed the primary source of concern to be the flight data system. For reasons that remain elusive, the FDS appears to be malfunctioning, failing to process incoming information accurately. Consequently, flawed data is being transmitted from the FDS to the telemetry modulation unit, leading the TMU to relay nonsensical binary messages back to Earth. Traditionally, when faced with such technical dilemmas, the standard protocol involves rebooting the FDS by powering it off and then on again. This straightforward method has proven effective in resolving a multitude of technical issues, both terrestrial and extraterrestrial. For instance, in 2010, when Voyager 2 encountered a similar problem caused by a bit flip in its data, the team successfully resolved the issue by initiating a reset command for the FDS memory. This same reset strategy was also utilized to address a glitch experienced by the Hubble Space Telescope a few years earlier. However, Despite repeating the reset procedure for the FDS on this occasion, the persistent problem persisted even after the system rebooted. This unexpected outcome has prompted NASA engineers to delve deeper into the root cause of the FDS malfunction, 
seeking alternative solutions to restore the spacecraft's communication integrity. This situation has spurred engineers and scientists to devise more robust solutions. However, this endeavor proves to be more daunting than anticipated. Firstly, the spacecraft was constructed nearly half a century ago by individuals who have long since retired. Consequently, the current team must delve deep into archived documents to comprehend the functioning of the probe and its computers. Despite several software updates in recent decades, the technology remains significantly outdated. To put it into perspective, while modern cell phones can process over 100 billion instructions per second, Voyager's computers are limited to 8,000 instructions per second. Additionally, due to Voyager 1's current distance, it takes approximately 22.5 hours for light to travel one weight worth. Consequently, whenever the team proposes a potential solution and implements it, they face a 45-hour round trip, wait for the signal to reach its destination, and receive response. However, on a positive note, this isn't the first instance of Voyager 1 transmitting random data. Even in 2022, the probe sent back some data through a malfunctioning onboard computer, resulting in corrupted outgoing messages. Nonetheless, NASA engineers successfully identified and rectified the issue. Originally intended for a shorter duration, the Voyager mission has significantly surpassed its initial objectives. Designed to explore the outer planets, it now offers invaluable insights into the universe beyond our solar system. Powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, which gradually loses power over time, the team managing Voyager 1 must make challenging decisions regarding which components of the probe to prioritize for operation. The final photograph captured by Voyager 1's cameras was part of a series depicting the solar system, taken on February 14, 1990. Among these images was the renowned pale blue dot photograph of Earth. This iconic image portrays Earth from a distance of 3.7 billion miles or 6 billion kilometers appearing as a minuscule speck of light amidst the vastness of space. Following the capture of these images, the cameras and other non-essential instruments were deactivated to conserve power. The primary focus of NASA engineers is to maintain the functionality of the instruments responsible for transmitting data back to Earth for as long as possible. As of January 2024, only 4 out of 10 Voyager 1 instruments remain operational. The data relayed by Voyager 1 holds critical significance, as the probe now traverses a region of space where the sun's influence is minimal, offering insights into phenomena such as cosmic rays and magnetic fields that were previously inaccessible for direct study. However, as Voyager 1 journeys farther from Earth, maintaining communication becomes increasingly challenging. Signals experience longer travel time, and significantly weaken by the time they reach us. Despite these hurdles, Voyager 1 continues its odyssey. While its trajectory is untamed at any specific celestial body, in approximately 40,000 years, it will pass relatively close to a star known as Glee 445. In cosmic terms, this span is minuscule, yet it underscores the enduring nature of Voyager's voyage. A notable feature of Voyager 1 is the golden record it carries, akin to a time capsule filled with Earth's sounds and images intended as a means of showcasing life on our planet to potential extraterrestrial beings. The record includes instructions for playback and a map indicating its origin. The aspiration was to impart a glimpse of our world to any future discoverers, regardless of the timescale involved. It represents a message from humanity to the vast cosmos. Hence, Voyager 1's journey transcends mere scientific exploration. It embodies human curiosity and ambition. Despite recent technical setbacks, there remains optimism for resolution, with scientists hopeful that the spacecraft will persist until its 50th anniversary. Recently declassified US documents disclosed a peculiar object impacting our planet in 2014. Fragments of this object have been recovered from the ocean. For those unaware of this development, it is recommended to acquaint oneself with this intriguing discovery. And that's it. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey through Spaceverse. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest videos keep exploring keep discovering and keep preaching for the stars until next time farewell and may the wonders of the universe continue to inspire you